Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be adventuring into a new land and also getting into blood magic. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, there's a few things that happened between now and the last episode. If you did catch the stream, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we did quite a bit in the stream. Um, we upgraded our weaponry, that's for sure. That's like one of the main things that we did do, and we did do fairly well. Um, I did get that bow, and the bow actually is a reward underneath um, exploration right here, underneath uh, this tab, which is part of the dungeon quests. So you need to kill 25 Endermen, and you get this sweet, sweet bow. And so that's done. I also completed this one. That way I got the Dark Steel Bolts. 64 of them exactly, which is actually quite nice. I didn't have to spend any materials on that. Um, I have not completed this quest, nor have I completed this one. But I did kill the Wither, which you get cake for that. Um, I ended up fighting the Wither, so if you want to check out that video, link down in the description. Um, I only streamed for about two hours. It was on Monday. Um, and so I plan on streaming more. Um, I'm going to try and get a schedule. Hopefully I can get a schedule up and running. And uh, stay, stay, stay pretty pretty well on that schedule. Um, I'm sure I won't be able to stay on it uh, perfectly. I do have a pretty busy life, but um, I'm going to try and stream more. I, I see you guys really enjoy that. And those of you who can't catch the stream, of course, there is always, like I said, the link down in the description if you want to skim through the uh, the stream and see what kind of happened. But yeah, there was a lot that went on. I recommend watching it. Uh, but yeah, we have this guy that we got. It has 16 melee damage. I don't know what the uh, other thing means down here that's being highlighted in green. But this, this right here, this, like, the bolts, like, these guys are really nice that you get. All I did was put uh, fletching, the uh, slime fletching on them, and I also put a diamond on them. So now there's 70 bolts, but they can one-shot from an incredibly far distance away, and it's immediate. As soon as you click it, it, it shoots. Like, there's no wait. Um, no reload wait. It's almost immediate. So yeah, this thing is awesome. And as you can see, the durability on it um, is crazy. And uh, Signalium is what it's repaired with, which is not that hard to get. Um, and its attack is 12 hearts. And it has a crit bonus of up to 7 hearts. And its draw speed and arrow speed are ridiculous. It doesn't even have modifiers on it yet. So I haven't put anything on this. This is just vanilla. This is just standard. So yeah, this thing is ridiculous. Ridiculously overpowered, which I love because we're going to need it later on. And I may say it's overpowered now, but come come soon, um, things might get a little bit more difficult and I won't be able to really use this that much. But it all depends. I don't know. I don't know how the mobs are going to treat me. But today, uh, we're going to follow some of our quests. So I've done pretty much uh, all of this. Um, what I haven't done is craft a healing axe. Um, and it's from blood. It's going to be used for blood magic, most likely. It's just It, it just recommends to use it. Um, and also a builder's wand. Is something that it recommends us make just for uh, it just makes it life easier um, but we don't have to make the healing axe quite yet it says it's great for blood magic um, and there might and it says uh, might be some other un unstable ingots tools that we could make like a builder's wand but we don't have to do that right now um, now this one says create a portal to ice Ica ice Ica I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I know I, I, uh, last episode I, I said Ikea, but it's Ice Isica, I think. Um, so we need a, uh, we need snow blocks. Um, and it says a nether portal made out of snow blocks, that shape. Um, and you light the portal with a snow globe. So the snow globe, look, look at the recipe, it's not too bad. Um, once there, it says kill the mobs and get ice shards. And then mine lots of frozen stones. I want to see what ice shards get us. So is this... What does this get us? So ice stone... Pretty... I mean the frozen cannon uses snowballs. Um, slows hostile mobs within six blocks of you. Now that's not bad. Melee damage slows mobs. Okay, that does 10 melee damage. Um, I'm guessing we need them for something else, though. Right? No?
There's got to be some use. Ah. The mysterious clock. Used to summon another mob. An ancient entity in the overworld. Also, the altar of corruption. Something that we need to make. And we need to use this, right? And that's that comes from this. Eye shards with a rupee. This is used for a lot of things, actually. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and try and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, get some things ready. Uh, by the way, I did expand this off camera. So I added the four processing units that I've been doing or trying to do. I added upgrades in this guy. Been working on logic processors and a bunch of different processors. Um, I forgot to power these last time. This needs to be connected to the molecular assembler. And then the ME interface needs to be connected to it. And you can connect... Uh, multiple ME interfaces on one molecular assembler. But remember, the molecular assembler can only do one task at a time. So if you want to craft sticks and logs at the same time, you're going to have to wait for the sticks to craft and then the logs can craft, or vice versa. So if you have two, you can, now I can do two separate cr uh, crafting uh, recipes at the same time. And so I'm just going to create uh, multiple of these and have probably up to six I think, and I want to continue these, making these since they're not too hard, and I'm going to have um, two more rolls of them, and that'll make six of those. And I think that will be plenty for right now for getting started. Um, it may be overkill. I don't know, you guys can let me know down in the comments below if you guys think that's overkill. But today, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves. let me go in here, we're going to get ourselves some snow. Okay, so yeah, in, in this chest, I totally have enough snow blocks. Um, use the build the portal. Okay. Yeah, I totally have enough. Um, now the snow globe. Let's go ahead and make that. Now the snow globe. That requires dark steel, a block of snow, two diamonds, and glass. Pretty simple recipe to make, to be honest. And I think we can set this guy up over here next to the actual nether portal. Why not? You know, I really should make a hammer. I don't know why I've not made a hammer yet. But that really should be something that I make soon. I have no idea why I've not decided to make that. But anyways, we're going to digress. I don't think snow melts, so... Um, I know my vanilla is kind of uh, sad. <laughs> my, my vanilla knowledge is not all there. I have not played very much vanilla. Um, so, please forgive me for that. A lot of my time has been spent playing this. Playing modded Minecraft, and you may think that even my modded Minecraft skills are not quite there, but I've not been playing modded Mi Minecraft for very long either. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and try and build this. It says build it just like the nether portal. So we're going to have another portal here, and wow, that is some bright particles. Um, So hopefully we don't die. Um, it does say to mine. So, I mean, we are going to be doing some mining. Let me actually grab a couple of picks. Just to be on the safe side. So that, with that, with that, and our obsidian. And the rest can be stone. Correct. That looks good to me. And we'll go ahead and do this. And this should be fairly easy to craft if I do it correctly bam so yeah not too bad <laughs> just a little stressful um, every time you do that it's just I, I always kinda get nervous um, but yeah that's not bad for my first time so I'll make this pick this pick has a lot of durability or durability that's why I wanted to make it um, and it should treat us fairly well alright I don't think to worry about any of the other blocks in my inventory. I have a sleeping bag. And we should be fine. We should be good to go. Let's actually try this out. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, we do have 64 shots in here. Um, really, I've only used a few shots. The max is 70. So I think we'll be fine. Then we also have this guy, which does the 16 melee damage. Let's go try this out. Ice Kia. I think that's what it is. Or Ice Kia. Oh, wow. What a weird dimension. Alright, let's uh... 
Let's portal. Portal home. Good contrast there, some yellow. Like, watch this. Whoa. Do they, are these guys not affected by the arrows? I wonder if I can hit them. Oh, dude, not even cool. Whoa, I got spawned here. Don't know what that is. Um, it says your bed was, oh, missing or obstructed. That's because, okay, we need to s not use a sleeping bag, I guess. Sleeping bag messed up the spawn. Oh boy, we gotta go back and get that stuff. That's That was crazy. What in the world was that? That thing, like, I don't know if it was lag, but it, it just straight up killed us. Alright, I'm gonna get my stuff. Alright, so I have all my stuff back. Now, I just want to... I don't know what this is all about here. There's a mob in here. Workshop carpet. Is he passive? The workshop tinkerer. So he sells you things. So you have shurikens. Okay, snowflakes give you... To obtain, find a dungeon underground in Iskia. Okay. Okay, I think this is going to be more dangerous than anything. So we found peppermints. Nothing willing to trade for peppermints, but it looks like they do trade peppermints. Uh, merchant said burr. Okay. Does he trade for peppermints? No? Okay. So I'm guessing we have to find more of these. And not die in the process. There is snowmen over there. Are these snowmen hostile? They don't look hostile. Okay, I'm I, I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm figuring this out as I go. Holy moly! Okay, he's definitely hostile. Okay. I wonder if you kill that snowman if other snowmen attack you. It's like we're being super quiet trying to get through here as we adventure into new lands. So this is the stone I think I need. Pretty sure this is the stone I'm needing. Right, frozen stone. I need a lot of frozen stone. So you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, it doesn't work with vein miner. Oh yeah, it does. Just not with that pick. That pick just doesn't work with vein miner. Well, that's a lot of frozen stone. I don't think I gathered enough of these shards to actually complete any exploration quest. I might have. Is that one of the quests? I don't see it. But we get a glove. Okay. We get a traveler's belt. Oh, the traveler's belt. I'm not a big fan of it. Warning, might delete your items. <laughs> That's why I don't like it. What's the glove do? Oh. We have a nice little mitt. It does freeze protection and five melee damage. 
That's not bad. That's cute. How cute. Alright, so yeah, we got a few things here while we were down there. Nothing really interesting. I thought it was going to be cooler than that, but I guess the mobs are really difficult. At least the ones flying in the sky. I don't know if you can even defeat them. I think they're to mainly prevent you from flying. I don't know. That's what it seemed like. I was, I was shooting that thing with uh, the bolts, and it was just not working. Alright. Now, I should be able to repair my bolts with iron blocks. And it shouldn't take too many of them. Two iron blocks, and it's fully repaired. All my bolts. Good. Now, I was working on getting a few things over here. Done. Like this right here. And I should be able to turn that to vibrant. Um, I want to do half, I think, half vibrant. Uh, maybe less than that. I'll do this. Let's see. Ender pearls. Because I do have an ender pearl farm now. So I can farm ender pearls. That's not like an issue anymore. And then I still have this, which is still farming ender pearls for me. Which is also awesome. And then I can go ahead and cook these guys up. Bam. And that should keep that and turn that into Vibrant Alloy. I'm really just waiting on Vibrant Alloy to be able to make the Blood Magic Altar. And that's pretty much it. Blood Magic, the Altar, is going to be pretty easy to make. We need to make this guy. So let's go ahead and start working on that. This is pretty simple. Um... To make it's just all the tiered tiered up versions and the basic one is super easy and it's just going to keep going up invar gear we should have enough invar i think the hardest thing about this is going to be getting the um enderium but i have enough so that's not even an issue for me anymore uh what are we missing that is requiring is that requiring hardened no, it requires used quartz works. Might do that. Um, Q quartz. Actually, we're working on something else, so I can't do that. I'll do hardened. We can try the hardened. I think you have to do a few things to get that. Yeah, it's Pulverized lead and pulverized obsidian. And pulverized lead. Which shouldn't take too long. We get four apiece per, for that, so that's... <laughs> Look, they, that pops up right as I'm recording. How silly. All right, we should be able to put these in the induction smelter. Bam, we're off to making that glass. And bam, two of them. I think I need three. Then we're good to go. And I think I'm going to need some more here in a minute. There we go. And what's this one require? Just that. Enduring your gear. And I should have enough Enderium to make that whole thing. And I do. Okay. This is where it starts getting a little bit hairier. Okay. So we need two pressure plates. This is where the crafting recipes get start to get wild. Um, I'm pretty sure I have enough of this silicon. Yes. Okay. So that makes a silicon wafer. And the silicon wafer requires 10 conductive iron, which, if I remember, yeah, it's iron and redstone. I only have three. And 10 redstone. And that should cook up next. All right, and then after that... Can go ahead and take those. After that, 
We need electric steel. I'm pretty sure I have enough for that. So that I'm not too worried about. Let's check, though. Yeah, I totally have enough of those. So yeah, that's really all we're waiting on, is the conductive. And by the way, these got upgraded with octatic capacitors. Um, so they are pretty fast now. Pretty fast, I must say. Look at all our dark steel. Hardened glass, all I need is this, and the conductive iron that we're about to get. And I should be good. Alright, so I'm in the process of getting this set up, which is honestly really simple and really fast. Bam. Now we have our electrical steel and the blood magic is really just up to our vibrant capacitor because we have everything else. Now, this is going to be fun. Um, so we need regular capacitors which require two dark steel blocks. We need two of everything here. Alright, these are regular capacitors so we're going to need these leadstone energy cells, which require leadstone. Oh boy, I hope we have enough of this. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of redstone alloy. Um, which is silicon and, red, or silicon and redstone. And what else am I going to need? Like, this is going to be the hardest part, is making that viral capacitor. Um, because each one of these requires the leadstone energy cell and so what I might do is yeah it requires electrum so we're need a bit of electrum hopefully we have enough I know we have enough lead so we should have enough of that I just need more redstone alloy so yeah I'm gonna work towards getting some more redstone alloy and I'll be back all right so I think I have just about everything ready so I've been producing a lot of stuff here um, getting everything ready as much as I could. Went ahead and got some auto crafting up and, and, and ready. So, blood magic. Getting this altar should be relatively easy now. So, we have two different capacitor banks. Each capacitor bank has two. So, that's going to be four leadstone energy cells that we're going to need in total. So, let me get that. Let me get that made up first. So, we have one already. So, we're going to need three. So, I'm missing, oh, the frame. I think that was the only thing I didn't make, was the leadstone energy frame itself. But I have everything else ready to go. So you guys can see that magic work. Ah, yeah, I just didn't tell it to craft that. That's simple, though. Let me just go ahead and add that in here. And then, bam, I think we're ready to craft those. So we're going to need three... Three, and start, and we should see this complete, hopefully. It is going to take a little bit, because it just takes some time to craft everything. There's one, two, and now three. So, sweet. Alright. I thought I had one in my inventory. What did I do with that? Maybe we do need... Another one. We're missing redstone. No, we're not. But yeah, now it's relatively easy to do because we can just auto craft everything. For this, anyways. And then I also uh, went ahead and got capacitors auto crafted. So each one of these is going to require four. Take a look at this. So each one of these requires two doubles, but this itself requires this. So four, we're going to need 16 basic capacitors. So 16 of these. And we should have everything for that. And that's going to craft up. It's really slow because right now, because we don't have any upgrades in here, if we had the uh, speed upgrades, it would almost do it instantly. So there's our 16. All right. So let's go ahead and make it up to this far. So I can throw these leadstones in here along with this. 
and make our four basic capacitor banks. And then we're going to need these two double layers, so we're going to need four double layer capacitors. And we have two already, so we're going to need two more. We have everything for that. There we go. This is just making everything a lot smoother. And I should have everything for that to get ourselves two. There we go. And then we need two octatic capacitors. And hopefully we have enough uh, to make that. We do. So that'll get us two octatic capacitors. And it doesn't take too long for that. Especially since we don't have to manually craft it. That's awesome. And that's just running off of the small setup that we currently have. And then I have all this other stuff. I went ahead and made the Vibrant Crystals. Everything else we have. There's our Vibrant Capacitor Bank. And bam, there's our Blood Altar. So, what all do we complete here? Automation Quests. And it starts to rain. Um, okay, so we got the better capacitor bank. Gives us quick deposit upgrade. And more Eulorium. Nice. And then we got under the gadgets. Oh, we got our unstable ingots. I wanted to see what this enchantment is. Blast protection. Protection 3. So yeah, that would help. That would probably keep you from dying. So wearing that when you do that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's raining right now. We do have our blood altar. There's not really much we can do with our blood altar. Um, but it does say to create a blood orb. So we've done this. Make a blood altar and we need to make a sacrificial orb. So that's something else. The sacrificial orb is not too hard to make, I don't think. Um, I think it has to be yellow stained glass. So we have enough for that. And it has to be panes. And there's our blood orb. Your first prick. Yeah, I know. They're really nice with their wording. Um, I think I can place this right here for now. Um, but as long as I have this... Not in here. But it's going to start putting blood, taking my life, and filling this with, with uh, blood. Now, I do believe it's asking us to, on the next step... Um, upgrade your blood altar to tier 2. So make blood runes, runes to upgrade, upgrade your altar. Blood runes require dark steel, a master, or not a master, and a, a weak blood orb. I think that's what it's called. Where it's at? Apprentice's blood orb. So that requires this crystal, which is, doesn't look too hard to make. These blank slates, though. So, it requires this. Now, I can show you a quick setup that's going to actually help you out a lot. So, right now I have this over here set up with two different filters. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take everything over here. We will need this later. I'll set it back up later. But for right now, it's not going to be too difficult. Okay, so we got that done. By the way, this doesn't look like it's taking any damage at all. But then again, it does not vein mine. <laughs> at least not, it didn't vein mine there. Um, but yeah, let's take the chest. We also need another chest. And we'll set this up fairly quickly. Let's get some of that frozen... Oh, did I put it in here? Oh, it's in my bag. That's right. Let's get one of these. And we need to make sure there is at least a thousand LP in here. And it'd be hard to tell without a division sigil. And I don't know how easy this is to actually make. So this is probably going to be one of the first things you want to make. After you get your first blank slate. That's probably what I'm going to do here. Um, and then I can automate it. So hopefully I have enough LP in there. It did say making that axe would help. I don't know exactly what way um, because attacking a mob it looked like it does damage to you 
and heals the mob. So, I'm confused by it. Maybe you guys will let me know what that healing axe actually does. Uh, maybe it heals me. I don't know. But that would actually come in handy. Alright. And you can kill yourself with this doing this. Now, I want to see. This should be enough to turn into the stone. Bam. That was rel relatively quick. Okay. That wasn't bad. Let's get a division sigil made. I think... Let's look. Um, what does it cost to get ourselves this guy? So we need a tier one, a red. Okay, and a diamond. Now you get this stuff from the nether, by the way. And we want to make sure we have enough blood in here to do this. I think it has to be nearly full, to be honest. Um, I can try and put this in here now. That might not be a good idea, though. That cake would probably help right now. And some regeneration potions would definitely help. But yeah, this is how, this is gonna be how hard it is. I mean, it's gonna be pretty painful at the beginning. Sacrificing your health and hoping that there's enough LP in there. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we want to see. Now we can go ahead and make that division sigil and we can be able to more accurately judge. What our LP stands at. Perfect. Now we can see that inside here the current altar essence is 2,000 LP. Um, the tier is 1, and the capacity is 10,000 life points. So, when I do this, it just went up 200. So, this does 200 LP every time we take a full heart down. Bam. And now, if we right-click with this, this is going to actually store life essence. And if you put it in here, it's going to suck the life essence out of the blood altar, I do believe. So you got to keep an eye out on that. Um, just don't kill yourself. But yeah, automating this is not too hard. Let's actually clear these. And then we'll kind of semi-automate this. You don't want to put too much in it, because if you do, some bad things will happen. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the item conduit. I need another item conduit, actually. Two item, item conduits is all you need. Let's take an item conduit here. Item conduit there. Set this to extract. Always active. And this is going to insert. Oh wow, if I can see where the border is. I might have to make a Yetta wrench. Wow, there it goes. Okay, yeah, I just click it right here. Set that to insert then this is the one that you need to worry about. You need to have a filter here that says extract a certain a certain one. So we get another one of those, these guys. Put that in there. We need to tell this to extract this guy. Always active. And insert. Now, I do want to check this real quick. Our division sigil. So we have... Let's get this at an even. 2,000. Put one stone in. This will help us judge how much it's actually going to consume. So we have 2,000 currently. As you can see, it went straight into the chest. And how much is in there now? So it uses 1,000 life points per stone so be careful um, you can drain this completely out and then you'll lose all the progress on your current block so not fun but uh, yeah just continue to do this um, so if it does 200 per um, five strikes one two three four let that la let that heart build up come on give me another heart Five. 
that should be back up to 2,000. And we should be able to put two stones in here. And that will drain the entire thing completely. And you, it will do two at a time. So be make sure you know how many is in here before you put them in there. But that will automate it, and then there you go. And as you see, it's completely empty. So yeah, just a little helpful tip, or a little uh, helpful tip, just to get this started. And we need these to be able to upgrade this guy, and we're gonna need to fill the entire thing to upgrade it to a tier two. So yeah, we're getting into blood magic. I can't believe we're already this far. Crazy. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up, and please. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you guys could be the first to be there when I go live, uh, which is really awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.